the previous video, we created a fixed width layout with multiple columns. However, we have a very common problem with this layout, and in this video, we're going to learn several different ways to fix it. Here, we have a very basic fixed width three column layout that we've already created. Now, you may have noticed that our wrapper div is not actually encapsulating our three column layout. We need to fix this using what is called a clear. Now, there are several techniques for clearing these floated columns, so let's start going over them. I'm going to switch over to TextMate, and the first one is actually pretty simple. We're going to add a new div just below our columns here, and we're going to give it the class clear. And we'll go ahead and close that div and put nothing inside of it. We're going to switch over to our CSS, and just after our body selector here, we can go ahead and put in this clear class, and we're going to use the clear property and give it the value both. Now, when we switch over to Google Chrome and refresh the page, you can see that orange has filled in between our columns. So our columns are actually inside of our wrapper div now, at least according to the renderer. There are several other techniques to do this, and this one actually isn't really the best. However, you can get away with this technique if you have some sort of footer just below your columns and you plan on putting additional content there. So let's go ahead and switch back to TextMate and try out a different technique. We're going to go ahead and remove our clear both and save that, and we'll go ahead and remove our clear div. So when we switch back to Google Chrome, our page should look just like it did before, where there is no orange filling in between these columns. So let's go ahead and try out this next technique called overflow. So we're going to go ahead and go to our CSS, and on our wrapper div, we're going to add the overflow property and we'll give it the value auto. Now, when we switch back to Google Chrome and refresh, we should see the same result we had before where our wrapper div is encapsulating our columns. The next technique involves wrapping our columns in a secondary wrapper div, and you can call this something else like the content div or the main div. So let's go ahead and try that out. We're going to switch back to TextMate, remove our overflow auto, and we're going to switch over to our HTML, and inside of our wrapper div, we'll create a secondary nested div that's going to wrap everything. We'll call this div content, and we'll go ahead and close that, and we'll just indent everything inside of it so that we know it's nested inside of this secondary div. And then we'll switch over to our CSS and go ahead and style this content div. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. First, we'll go ahead and float our content div to the left. And we're also going to set an explicit background of orange and although this isn't actually part of the technique, setting the background to orange will help us see this content div inside of our wrapper div. So we're going to switch back to Google Chrome and refresh. And we should see no change whatsoever. We should still see that our columns are inside of our wrapper div. By containing them in this secondary wrapper div or content div, our secondary wrapper div takes up the entire width of our regular wrapper div, and by floating it to the left, it sort of resets the flow of the page and puts our columns inside of it. So let's go ahead and switch back to TextMate and just remove the work that we did here so that we can try one last technique. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this content div and We'll just reset all of our HTML there so that it has proper indentation. So we'll save that out. 
And let's just go ahead and switch back to Google Chrome and refresh to make sure that we're in the right place here. And as you can see, our columns are not inside of our wrapper div because that orange is not peeking through the gaps between the columns. So let's go ahead and switch back to TextMate and try this last technique. For this, we actually don't need to add any additional markup. This is a little bit of a hack, but it's actually one of the best techniques. We're going to go ahead and select our wrapper, and then we'll apply the pseudo class after. Then we're going to use the content property and just give it the value of an empty string. What this is going to do is it's going to put a pseudo element after our wrapper and inside of it, it will just have no content. Next, we can go ahead and style the pseudo element. We're going to go ahead and set the visibility to hidden. We'll set the display to block. This element needs to clear both the left and right sides, and we'll set a height of zero. So basically, this element won't appear in the renderer, but it is there clearing the columns. So we'll go ahead and switch back to Google Chrome and refresh the page. And there you can see our wrapper div is in fact extending all the way to the bottom of these columns. That about wraps things up for clear fixes. The last technique I showed you is preferred, however, it won't work so well in older versions of Internet Explorer. Clear fixes can be tricky, so you should do extra cross-browser testing.